Why is the reason Eve ate the apple? Why is the reason scientists exist? Hey guys, it's been like two months since I put out a video. Sorry about that, but I had to move. I've gone from Kamloops to Calgary. I'm now settled in my new house. It's snowing, the weather sucks. And I have two months worth of pent up anger and aggression to bring to you right now. About a week ago, I was talking to a religious person and they were telling me about how their religion didn't allow them to get certain types of medical treatment. And I know there are several religions that do this. However, a little while later, it got me thinking, you know, how would I be different today if I was part of a religion that didn't allow medical treatment? And I'll be honest, the answer scared the shit out of me. I'm a person who's been through a lot of medical procedures. I have a rare disease called HKPP. So where would I be today without medical treatment? Well, at age 17, I would have been blind in my left eye due to a detached retina. At age 19, I would be fully blind due to a detached retina in my right eye. Both, they claim, were genetic defects and would have happened eventually. By age 21, I would be mostly unable to move due to the HKPP and I would be pretty much stuck in a bed, blind. So my entire life for the last seven years would be a blind, paralyzed person. I don't know about you, but that scares the shit out of me. To be trapped in my own body, unable to see, unable to move, every day, all day, it's terrifying to me. And without the treatments that I take daily, this would be a reality. I was healed not by being blessed or being a son of God or any of that horse shit. I was healed by the hand of man or in the case of my eyes, a woman. But that's not saying God didn't have a, something to do with it. That's not saying there is no God. That's saying your religious belief that medical treatment is wrong is basically saying you condemn me to a life of shit. So that's what got me onto the path we're about to go down. For the sake of this discussion, we're gonna assume there is indeed a God. All you atheists, go fuck yourself. You have to look at both sides of the coin if you wanna be impartial. So my question is, what obligation do I owe to a creator, to my creator? Because we are assuming there is indeed a God, a creator. So what obligation do I owe this? Prayers. Do I owe them prostration? Do I owe them... What do I owe? What do you owe an orphan? What does an orphan owe its parents? Here we have a creator that may or may not exist. What do I owe him? You say I owe him everything. He created everything. What about an orphan? His parents created him. We know this for a fact. Does an orphan owe an obligation to his creator? Does he? I would say no. You are fucking abandoned. No, an orphan does not owe an obligation to his or her parents. So therefore I say no. I owe no obligation to my creator. And you don't want to know why? Because life is a gift. But the thing is, if I wasn't given this gift, I wouldn't even know it. It's like a guy in Africa, he doesn't even know that an iPod exists. I'm sure he'd like it if he had one, but he doesn't know it exists. So if you gave it to him as a gift, it would not change his life. Because his life would have been fine without it. Life is the same way. If you didn't give me life, I wouldn't even know it. So why would I be thankful for something I wouldn't even know? Does that make sense? While we're on this topic of obligation, I've talked about this before. Why are we obligated to family if they treat us like shit? Why are we obligated to people in authority places if they treat us like shit? I say we're not. We're not obligated to the big guy or our parents or anything. We are obligated to what they do for us. If your father runs out on you, you owe no debt. What do we talk about when we talk about God? We talk about unconditional love. I don't like unconditional love, personally, because it means 
You can do whatever you want, and I'll forgive you. Fuck that. If you do something unforgivable, I'm not forgiving you. And the reason that we give ourselves, and we're like, oh, I forgive you for something that's unforgivable, is because we do shit that's so bad, and we know it, that we want to be forgiven for it. We want to be made whole again and accepted for the shit that we do. Instead of being responsible and, you know, maybe stepping it down a notch, we want to be forgiven. We have this craving for someone else to tell us it's okay. For someone else to make us whole. And I would like to stand here and say, you know, when I feel incomplete or I feel lacking, that I look inside myself to find the answer. I really wish I could. And sometimes I do. But let's be honest, when you're feeling like shit, you call people. You go out and you try and get that from someone else. It's a need and it sucks. And yes, I do look inside myself, but I'm looking for the reason why I feel a certain way. Why do I feel that way? I can't stand not knowing why. Some people can just accept their feelings and, oh, that's the way I feel. I can't. I have to know why I feel that way all the time. Why? 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 And it's that need, it's that drive to understand why is the reason Eve ate the apple. Why is the reason scientists exist.